Hello everyone and welcome to Janet's uh, Creative Flowers. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to arrange uh, groom's button here. Yeah, first we will see the materials required. Okay, uh, this is a piece rose and a leaf. I have already attached the leaf to the rose. I have two calla flowers. some FMN flowers, the forget me not flowers, a thread, half inch satin ribbon, floral tape white color, a bow which is already prepared, a safety pin, a pair of scissors, few pearls arranged on a wire and a glue gun yeah okay so now if you want to learn uh, how to make all these flowers which I showed just now and uh, how to tie a bow go through my tutorials on my channel I have a tutorial for everything so in this tutorial we are just going to learn how to arrange a groom's button ear yeah. various types of button ears I make so I make video for each so we take two calla flowers first yeah two calla flowers then i'm placing a rose like this Using thread, I am tying it first. The moment you tie, use white green tape because we don't want any uh, thread is uh, thread is shown outside. That doesn't look good for a groom's button ear. Yeah. Tie it. So two calla flowers, leaf and this. Then we are coming to. Yeah. Now mostly I use this FMN flowers as filler flowers. If I am seeing any gaps here then I use uh, the FMN flowers. Yeah, I don't like uh, flowers with gaps. I want flowers like filled and uh, they have to give a good look to the button ear. Do not go for overfilling also. That also doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. A kind of, yeah. Okay, then what I do is, yeah. More I use the floral tape, more firm the button ear will become. So, now I'm going to use uh, the pearls which are arranged on a nylon wire mm -hmm. so they give good looks to button ears so I want to use them here but I want them to be visible okay. I will fix them to this side
yeah so some uh, pulse i put here and some i put here wherever you feel something is empty or this um, something is not looking symmetric you can use a uh, um, use you can use pulse to fill that so i tied everything using the thread and now i am going to first um, cover this with floral tape done then second now i have to uh, use this pin this uh, safety pin is used to uh, pin the flower the button ear to the suit so you need to use a big one and a, a strong one yeah hold it like this and Close it. Yeah, you don't need to complete it because uh, what we are going to do is, you can. I mean, if this uh, floral tape breaks in between or something, that's fine. Now what I'm going to do is, so you attach the pin. So we are going to open the pin like this and close the pin like this. Fine. Now I'm going. I'm taking the satin ribbon the half inch satin ribbon and uh, using the glue fix the ribbon If this glue threads come out, that is not a problem that you can remove any time. I mean, they don't create any marks on the flower or on the, uh, see this the glue threads, you can remove it any time. They don't create any marks. So we don't need to worry about it. The satin ribbon, we need to tie well because that is clearly visible on groom's blazer. So. apply glue well the satin ribbon shouldn't come out
then the bow which have already prepared so if you want to learn how to make bow go through my videos on my channel so I'm going to attach it at the bottom this may makes the button here beautiful yeah so this is how my groom's button ear looks I'll keep everything aside so that you can see only button ear. 